Maria Lalita announced the setting up of a memorial at Thaini for Colonel Fenikwe who built the Mulai Periya Dam memorial to be built at a cost of rupees 1 crore. Despite a heavy security blanket, many law graduates opt out of the Bar Council exam and stage demonstrations. Questions the need to have one in the first place. Revenue intelligence sleuth sees two pro worth ephedrine from Chennai Central, three arrested in the case. Son of legendary actor Nambiar and senior BJP leader Sukumaran passes away at the age of 60. The leader suffered a heart attack and is survived by his wife and two sons. A cracker of a finale on the way at the Chennai Open with Saravich and Raunich enter the third set, all set to go right down to the right the wire. Good evening and welcome to NDTV Hindu. You are watching headlines now with me, Linda Hercules. The Tamil Nadu government is gearing up to build a memorial for a British engineer who helped construct a dam over 100 years ago. Police security provided for all students appearing for an exam all over the state. All of this and a lot more coming up for you right after the national headlines. After the election commission ordered the status of Mayawati and elephants to be covered during the state assembly elections, the dripping has begun in various parts of Uttar Pradesh. The DGCA report states that most airlines are unsafe. Civil Aviation Minister Ajit Singh says the ministry will not have any tolerance for airlines that violate safety norms. Our country is also going through difficult times, says Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, but assures that the government will face all challenges. The BJP opts for a bailout on his corruption tainted inductee Babu Singh Kishwaha, a former BSP minister, says will keep membership on hold. Differences with our allies can be worked out, says senior Congress leader Salman Karshid, a day after Mamta Banerjee lashed out at the Congress. Another land scam in Bangalore, over 1,000 acres of BDA land illegally encroached upon and sold to unaware buyers. The higher reaches of North India at the receiving end of some unusually heavy snowfall, it snows for the first time in Patankot in Punjab. Amid the simmering Mulai Periyar Dam Rao, Tamil Nadu government today announced the setting up of a memorial for British engineer uh, Colonel Pennyquick, who had constructed the dam at Lower Camp in Thani district over 116 years ago. The memorial, which would include a statue of the late army engineer, will be built with a cost of rupees 1 crore and over 2,500 square feet at the Tamil Nadu Electricity Board premises in Lower Camp. Upon its completion, Quick's grandson will be invited for its inauguration. Meanwhile, former President Abdul Kalam has given his views on the Mulai Periyar controversy. He said the problem can only be resolved if both Tamil Nadu and Kerala meet and discuss the issue. My suggestion is both chief leaders should meet and discuss. If they meet and discuss, everything will happen. The All India Bar Examination took place today across Tamil Nadu. The Bar Council of India said of nearly 25,000 students slated to write the examination, about 3,500 were from Tamil Nadu. But many law graduates opted out of writing the exam. That was about 1,000 students who boycotted it. Their main contention was that there is no need to have an exam in the first place. The law graduates claimed that the introduction of such a mandatory examination to practice law is superfluous since the advocates were required to write examination with books for the same subjects for which they have already cleared the examinations without books. The BCI made it mandatory for all law students from the year 2009 to 2010 onwards to appear for the All India Bar Examination conducted by the BCI and obtain a certificate of practice. As for the resolution, only those students who pass the exam would become eligible to practice law. Satta kaluri le paridu, pasa ki teru patta pinner, thagiri teru inraadi padi le. Inda bar council, ingere kintra varakar jile gore kene kira de, varakar jile yenni ke gore ke gore kene kira de. Inda bar ke karuma ya ke, varakar jile langale idur kintu. Ma marthu adir ke thagiri teru illai, oriyal kaluri galle padi kira, mana varigal ke thagiri teru illai. Walaupun jeneng itu matum, bagi terus yang disolli, bar council, nanti kita terus 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 yang terus, ini wadah kami orang orang kami yang ini kita terus, anda hari pada ini, ini pola kita minum terus minum bayi terus itu kita kira. The Directorate of Revenue Intelligence seized 25 kilogram of banned ephedrine and arrested three persons in this connection. Following a tip-off, two persons who had arrived from Mumbai by train were taken into custody and a parcel containing the drug seized. 
Based on information provided by the duo, another person who arrived by flight from Mumbai was also arrested. The value of the seized drug was found to be around Rs 2 crore. Moving on, senior BJP leader Sukumaran Nambiyal passed away today after suffering a heart attack. Sukumaran, who was 60 years old, who was also BJP's National Executive Committee member, is survived by his wife and two sons. The son of legendary actor late Emin Nambiyar, the soft-spoken leader and the former military instructor is believed to have enjoyed a good rapport with BJP veteran LK Advani and the AIADMK Supreme JJ Lalita. Bharati Janata Kachiki and Lava Hilum Urduniaha Irunda Burmaha Irukindra Kuripaha Tahapana Kaparahu Tanam Ayapa Swami Bakta Mar Hilakuru Tarami Wakindra Varinat Tichel in Nabarahum Bedingir and the Sokumar and Nambiar in the Kali Didir and Maradi Pair Patil Udadi Ahavi work Maranam Sambavit Kardi and Badu Bedani Kuria Sidi and the Atma Nargadi Adi Abendi Mendri Bharati Janata Kachin Sarbaha Pratit Moon Nakalaku Tamarha Murudam Kachi Dukum and Shikaram. Stay with us as we tell you to what lengths people are ready to go to raise funds for the betterment of the underprivileged, quite literally this time.